Hi everyone, welcome to day 29 of my 100 days challenge. Today we will be solving one of the recent business problems that faced by Zomato using SQL. So let's see the problem. So the problem says Zomato's delivery system encountered an issue where each item orders was swapped with the next item order. Your task is to correct this swapping error and return the proper pairing of the order ID and items. If the last item has an odd order ID, it should remain as the last item in the corrected data. Write a SQL query to correct this swapping error and produce the corrected up order pair. Now here is the incorrect order pair you can see and here is the correct order pair. Now we will need to first attack a two order ID. So this order, this is the order ID 1 and the item that is incorrectly paired at the moment that is showing as Chowmin. And if you see the order ID 2 that is showing as pizza. So we need to swap with them, right? So the pizza will have the order ID 1 and this Xiaomin will have the order ID 2. So this is what we need. Now you can see here I have swapped it. So pizza has got the order ID 1 and the Xiaomin has got the order ID 2. And you can see my second pair which I have 3 as veg nuggets and the 4 as paneer butter masala. I will just need to change this 3 with this paneer butter masala and 4 with this veg nuggets. And for here you can see I have changed it 3 as paneer butter masala and 4 as veg nuggets. And you can see my third pair where you can see the order ID 5 as a spring roll and 6 as veg burger. So I again need to swap it. So this veg burger will have the order ID 5 and this 6 will have by this spring roll which you can see it I have it I swapped it here. So this last order ID is the odd number. So this will remain same here you, you can see we have 7 as paneer tikka and the 7 as because this is the odd order ID. So let's solve this problem today. Now I'm going to use a PostgreSQL and PG admin 4. If you do not have PostgreSQL, you can use MySQL as well, the same approach. So I have already created the data set and I have inserted the records, which you can get from the video descriptions. Let me show you the order table. So you can see I have the same order table here and uh, I have the order ID order item so you can see now I have the incorrectly pair in the data set here which is 1 as Xiaomin and 2 as pizza so I just need to swap this together and I just need to swap this two and I just need to swap this two so the last one will remain same so I'm going to use a very simple approach to solve this problem which is going to be city and cross join so first let me see what is the total count of items we have which we can see it seven so I can just simply use a count functions and I can go ahead and say count of star and I can just save it as uh, total orders. So I'm just going to put it in the next line. And uh, let's just run it. And you can see we have total seven orders. Okay, so I'm just going to save it in a CTE. And uh, I will name the city as uh, call new orders. And uh, as for the syntax, I will say S and inside this parenthesis, I'm just going to put this, this count. Okay, so and from this count, I'm just going to select that, select everything, everything from this uh, new orders. Okay. And I should have the same, which is count, which is total seven, right? Now I'm going to do a cross join with my orders table, which is the orders. And that has the seven records. So cross join with orders. Now this orders has seven records which has each order ID and the order item. So with each of order ID and order item, I will have this is simply the total orders, right? That is what I will be getting from this cross join. Now you can see with this cross join, I have this total orders. I have the order ID and this item, right? So, so in cross join, you simply get the partitions, which I am getting it here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and build our logic here. Now I'll be using simple case statement to solve this problem. I need order ID. And uh, other than that, I will simply use a case statement. Okay, so this order ID, I'm just going to save it as incorrect order ID because that is my existing order ID. Okay, now on this incorrect order ID, on this order ID, I will use the logic. So I would say case and uh, I would say when, then, and I will end this case and I would add else logic here. So I would say else. So here I'm going to build my logic here. Now here I'm going to use a simple logic on this column which is called order ID which is my incorrect order ID. So I would say when order ID divided by 2 not equals to 0. So that means it's an odd number and I want to add one more condition. So I would say end this total orders that I'm getting from this partitions which is the cross join. So I would say end this order ID. Okay. Not equals to the total orders. Okay. So which is this one. So here I'm saying first of all this order ID must be odd number. So this is the odd number. 
and this is not this should not equals to this one which is the total orders now if you see the last one it's odd number and this will be equal to this one right so that's going to be my second conditions and if this all these conditions are true then i want to add my then conditions so i would just again end the then conditions here then i would say order id and i would simply use a plus one okay so with this one i am just adding a one so that's going to be the order id two and i will have the item which is going to be pizza right so that's my first conditions now let's see what i want as a second conditions and the second conditions i want one more when so i would say when this order id divided by two not equals to zero and I want the second conditions which is going to be order ID not equals to total orders but this one I want to equals to total orders okay so this one I can just put it in the same line okay now if this second condition is a true which is this one like this order is not divided by two that means the it's an odd number which is one three and uh, five and seven that's the half of the conditions and I'm saying an order ID is equals to total orders that's going to be only this one right then i simply want the order id which is this order id okay so that is fine now else what i want so that means what i'm left with is this two and i'm left with this four and the six all the even numbers okay so else i would simply say order id and uh, minus one so for each even order id i'm just minusing one so that i will have the previous order id so for this one i will have the pro order id that's going to be one okay so that means and uh, so that's going to be minus from this order id one okay and I'm just going to create a new column using this case statement. I'm just going to name it call correct order ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of now run this query. So we just need to select the whole query. So now we have selected the order ID. Next, what we need is the item, right? So item after this, I'm going to select the item. Okay. I would say item okay so let's now run this query now I can see the first pair which is now correctly paired so the first order ID this is the incorrect order ID right so incorrect order ID is showing as chowmin and the correct order ID is for this product which is showing as uh, you know chowmin and for this one you can see the incorrect order ID is showing as a 2 and the correct order id is showing as pizza now i can just do order by by this right so i will just go ahead and do a order by here i would say order by by this two which is the correct order id and that's ascending so let's go ahead and run it okay now let's see the output now i can see the correct order id it's like one is now for pizza and two is for chowmin earlier one was for you know chowmin and two was for pizza which was swapped right so we have just swapped this two right you can see it like where we had two we now have order id as one where we have one we have the order id two here we have three and four which is like correctly swapped and here you can see five and six and the seven remain the same so this is how we have solved this problem today thank you so much for watching the video if you really like my content do subscribe to my channel have a good day take care bye bye